it might be okay as long as I set it with um oh fuck. I haven't filmed a makeup video in such a long time I feel a little bit out of touch I don't know how it's going to go today um I probably filmed my last makeup video last year and every other video has been non makeup related but I'm ready to play with some makeup today I'm really not sure what I want to do I kind of want to do like a pink or red I look but today's video is going to be pretty chill like we're just gonna sit here try some products maybe that I haven't used before I've got some products out that I haven't used yet I've had them for a while but I haven't used them so let's see how we go that felt weird not saying hi guys or hello everyone welcome back to my channel but I kind of just wanted to get into it sometimes I have so much trouble just saying that one line so yeah this is the palette that I want to use this is the sweet as honey palette and it's by Focalua Folklore. I'm not sure how to say it, um, but I do have a few of their palettes. They sent me these a while ago now, and I did swatch some of them, and they're really, really nice from finger swatches, but they've got some really nice kind of dusty shades, which I want to use, like some of these mauve pink shades, maybe a pink lid. I might go in with this kind of reddish color. I'm not sure, but I want to use this palette. For my eye base, I'm just going to use kind of what's in front of me. I've got my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. This one's pretty much finished, so I just kind of want to use whatever's left. It's starting to get like a little bit drier than normal. And I'm going to just blend it out. It's not blending out as well as it usually does. So I did my eyebrows with a pomade today or pomade and I just feel like I made my eyebrows look ridiculously dark. They don't look too bad on camera but I think it's because I don't usually do my eyebrows this dark anymore. This is more of like a maybe 2013 Shanae. I think the first shade I want to use is Pale Chestnut which is kind of like this dusty pink and I'm just going to put this straight on top of the concealer I'm not going to set it I haven't used any like pinks or reds in such a long time I hope you guys have been doing well anyway I'm wondering what kind of videos you guys want to see like are you still into makeup I don't know if people still are to be honest like I enjoy doing makeup and filming it but I don't know if people still enjoy watching it I guess for me personally I like to watch people do makeup only if they're kind of chatting about themselves and chatting about life otherwise if it's just a straight up makeup tutorial I'm not really interested even though I like doing makeup myself and creating looks if I want to watch someone purely do makeup I'll probably just watch an Instagram video because it's like quick and it's usually around 60 seconds so it's not that long to watch it's not really like what it used to be back in the day. Like I used to upload makeup videos that were about six to seven minutes long and it'd be only a voiceover. So it wasn't really personal at all. It was just like, do this, do that, you know. So I don't think people are really into that anymore. I'm going to take Desert Sand to just further blend out that kind of pink shade. I feel like those pink shades blended out pretty nicely. Like I said, this is my first time using this brand. So, so far so good. I'm going to take the shade Cosmic Latte and just kind of clean up that brow bone area. I feel like I blended that pink a little bit too far in. The next shade I want to use is kind of this red shade and I don't know how to pronounce the name of it. I'm going to use this shade to slightly deepen this eye look. I don't really know when this video is going to go up but currently I'm watching Love Island UK and I've been loving it. I feel like Love Island UK is always so much better than the Australian one. I think last year's was just bloody terrible to be honest. I still watched it all. Of course, but I don't know. I just feel like the Aussie one just doesn't really compare to the UK one. But don't worry, I'm not going to say anything about the show or give away any spoilers. So if you're watching it, I'm not going to say anything. I've been very up to date with it. I got a bit behind the other week just because episodes air so bloody quick. Um, but now I'm, you know, right ahead and I've watched all of them. Once I've popped that shade in there, I'm going to grab my fluffy brush 
and blend it out with that pink we used earlier. I do feel like the shade is a bit patchy, like it's stuck down here where there wasn't any shadow before and then there's kind of like a little bit of patchiness. I've been having really bizarre dreams lately. I don't even know what they mean, like just really strange ones and then I've also been dreaming about people I haven't seen for years and I'm talking like maybe eight years or ten years and I'm like why am I dreaming about you why are you here I don't know it's really strange but then I have like other odd ones and I can't even I can't even describe them to you they're just really odd some of them are scary some of them are not some of them are just weird I need someone to like interpret my dreams This is what we've got going on so far. I definitely feel like the pink shades worked a lot better than this kind of red. It was a little bit hard to work with, a little bit patchy, but we got there in the end. It's not as pigmented as I thought. Like it looks pretty pigmented like looking in the camera, but I did expect a little bit more out of it. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Misty Rose, which is like a metallic kind of shimmery pink. And I'm going to use this brush. I find sometimes these fluffy brushes pick it up a little bit better, but we'll see how it goes. I feel like it's sealing over as I do that. I've just wet my brush a little bit as well. Do you guys feel like January was like totally hectic, like busy, a lot going on, a lot going on in the world? Oh my God, I feel like it's been a whole year in that one month, so much happened some good things some bad things just feel like it's been really crazy i do have to say this shade is really pretty i feel like 2020 is just like a different type of vibe i hope a lot of good things come out of this year even though some bad things have already happened this year for me is to save put away money work hard i've already started putting away money i've been putting away a hundred dollars every week just to have it there just in case like you never know what can happen especially with bills like I pay my mortgage one week and then the next week I pay off my car I bought a new car I forgot to mention that I had to buy a new one um, my other one I don't know started dying it's still running but I don't know how much longer it's got so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that car either but I bought a new car I got a Mazda 2 it's really, really cute. Yeah, so that is my first brand new car that I've ever owned in my life. Every other car has been a second-hand car. So it's really nice to own like a brand new one. It's pretty crazy for me. I think I might do some smudgy liner. I'm going to use my Inglot gel liner in 77. And then I might use the black or brown shade out of this palette just to make it a bit smoky. I just want like a little bit of definition, but I don't want the eye look to be too heavy. My lashes will make up for the heaviness anyway because I want some curly kind of dramatic ones. They're probably the ones I've always been using which is the Nakia Joy Alaya lashes. They're like my faves at the moment. I did want to mention that my friend Jacob has relaunched his lashes so if you want to check his out I'm going to leave a link down below. So he's got the girls collection and the boys collection. The girls are the original styles that he had but now he's got the boys which are a little bit more tame, not as dramatic but to be honest I've kind of been into that. I used to wear his um, GG lashes all the time and they're like drag lashes. Nothing wrong with that. I still love them and I still probably would wear them but I have pulled back a little bit. That's why I've been using um, Nakia's lash. It's kind of dramatic but it's not as dramatic as the GG lash. I just like them because they're really curly but yeah there's nothing stopping me once I start using really dramatic lashes. I start going crazy and everyone kind of looks at me weird but I don't really care but I do want to try out some of his new ones, see what they're like. I'm sure they're beautiful. I'm just tapping over with the kind of black eyeshadow. I'm going to put on mascara. This is my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in the color black. And then I'll probably put lashes on and do my face makeup. I'll put on my lashes soon, but I'm going to start my face makeup. I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. And I'm just going to put this around my nose and just here. I don't really have too many new face products. I feel like I've always got a new eyeshadow palette. I feel like it's because just brands pump out the eyeshadow palettes. Can't really keep up. 
I do have a foundation I haven't used before. This is the Paint Box High Definition Water Resistant Foundation. Um, but I've had this for a while now in my drawer and I just haven't used it. The bottle is quite small. Um, this is like a 30 ml bottle and this is only 20 ml. But yeah, let's try it out. I don't really know anything about this foundation. I don't know the claims. I don't know what the coverage is meant to be like. I don't know what the shade's gonna be like. I think it's actually going to be a little bit too light for me because I've got fake tan on. I think I might have to use a different foundation. Unless this oxidizes like really dark or something. This is so not my color. First impression of the foundation, it's like a medium coverage. It looks really, really nice. It's just a little bit too yellow for me. I might just use kind of a darker foundation around my face. I don't know if this is going to make a difference or not. I'm just using a sports girl foundation and this one's in the shade medium, I think. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in light medium beige. I'm just going to see what the shade ends up looking like. I'm trying not to take too long to do my makeup just because Jared said he's on his way home from work and I'm pretty sure he's going to do work in the backyard, which means he's going to make a lot of fucking noise. To set under my eyes, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And this is the light to medium powder one. I'm going to take what's left of these banana powders here and just set underneath my eyes. I'm going to take my Astralis AC on Tour contour stick and I like to use this one for my nose just before like I set my face makeup. I'm just going to do this. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my Savvy Natural Finish Press Powder in the shade Medium Beige. I'm hoping this might take away the yellowness, but I'm not sure. I'm going to take my Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. I always use this one. I use it probably almost every day for work as well. And I'm just going to use this to bring a bit of shape back to my face. I went and took a little bit of a break. I had a snack, I put my lashes on. I'm going to use this blush now. This is my Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. I don't know if I've filmed with this a lot, but I feel like I use this every single day in like my normal day-to-day -day life. I might've used it in my last video, but I can't really remember. For my highlighter, I'm going to use my Jeffree Star Skin Frost and this one's in the color Peach Goddess. This highlighter is so huge. I have got like a little dint in the middle though and I definitely want to keep using it. It's one of my faves. Going back on the subject of cars, my two first cars were secondhand and I think my first car I paid about two or three grand for. So I didn't pay that much and it wasn't the best car. It got me from A to B and that's all that matters. Um, it was a Nissan, Nissan Pulsar 1990 version. So it was very old. It still had electric windows, which was weird because it was such an old car. The electric windows actually broke on it so I could never put my window down either. Like they worked and then sometimes they didn't. So if I went through drive through I'd have to open my door. It was like kind of embarrassing. But yeah, like, you know, started from the bottom, now we're here. It's not like I've got a hundred grand car, but I've got a brand new car and it's just absolutely beautiful. I was so excited to have Bluetooth in my car. Like that sounds kind of sad, but I was so excited for that. And then my second car was a Holden Astra. I think it was a 2006 or it could have been a 2009 version. I can't remember, but yeah, it just had its day. Just had enough pretty much. That one lasted about I think six, seven years. So that's a pretty good like length of time. And I think I only paid about six grand for that car, six or seven. It was really good. It lasted what I needed it to. And now I've got my little Mazda. I think my question of the day in this video is what was your first car? I would love to know. I'm sure some of you have had little bombs like me. There's nothing wrong with that because you need a car 
to get around. And that car only lasted, I think, a year or two, and then it died. I was going to work. I was also late for work. I slept in, and I never sleep in for work either. And I was driving on the freeway, and then my car just started making a weird noise, and I pulled over, and it just never started again. The head gasket had, like cracked or blown up or something it was just crazy i'm going to put that on the inner corner too there's going to be a lot of sounds going on now anyway the show must go on i'm going to finish off my lower lash line i'm going to go back in with that pale chestnut color and just start running that on the lower lash line I'm going back in with that red kind of shade. For my waterline, I'm going to use the DB Pigment Plus Water Resistant Retractable Eyeliner. And I'm not sure what shade this is. I feel like none of these liners have the shade on them, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm just going to pop it in here. It's kind of like a red raspberry shade, like the eyeshadow. Lower Lash Mascara is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. I used to use this all the time back in the day. It is different though, like the wand's not the same, but it's still a pretty good mascara. I used to use it all the time for only my bottom lashes. I don't know if this is the vibe I'm going for. I feel like I might go for something a little bit lighter, but I'm going to try this out. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in the shade Hudson. I feel like it might be a bit dark, so I might only do the outside and then do like a nude in the middle. It's a beautiful color, but they do dry down darker. I've got this Australis Lip Slip Lip Oil. It's very sheer, but it's also very nude. So I'm going to try and put it over the top and see what it looks like. Let's see how this outro is going to go because they're still making a lot of noise outside. I've just done my hair and made it look a lot nicer. I wasn't sure on the lip and now I love the lip. I don't want to change it. I don't want to make it any more nude. I just feel like, I don't know, it complements the eye so well and I love this shade. It's kind of like a brownie nude. But yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to say. I love this look so much. It makes my eyes stand out a lot and it looks really nice with my hair color as well. But anyway, before the noise gets any louder, I'm going to go. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Thumbs up the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye!